everyone! I know we always hear about how expensive living in the West Coast is, so today I'm going to share with you our monthly breakdown for two adults plus one dog and how much it really costs for us to live in Seattle. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please consider subscribing and share your comments in the comment box below. So we've been in Seattle for several years now and have lived in both Bellevue and are now in the Seattle proper. We're pretty fortunate to own our own house. It's a 1600 square feet, two bedroom 1920s craftsman. We bought our house for the mid 800s and it's in a safe and old neighborhood with parks nearby. Our monthly mortgage payment is 3800 It includes property tax and insurance. And yes, we are in the early stages where we're paying lots of interest. On top of this, we pay about $200 in utilities a month, which includes gas, electricity, hydro, and trash. Aside from housing as our biggest expense, we also have two cars. Something to note here, when we lived in an apartment in Capitol Hill, Mr. Lane was paying $350 a month for parking. Now we have street parking, so we don't have to pay for that anymore. Both of our cars are paid off in full. We have an older Jeep Grand Cherokee and a Honda Accord. To get a better deal on insurance, we bundle the car insurance with home insurance, and our monthly car insurance is $114 for both cars. Since the Honda is more fuel efficient, we usually drive this for our groceries and outings. For gas, we spend about $60 a month. We generally take the bus to work because the HOV lanes gets us there faster. That being said, we still drive about twice a week when we have errands to run after work or when Mr. Lane works late. To get from Seattle to Bellevue, we take the 520 toll bridge, which is about $4 each way during peak hours. So on days we drive, it's $8. In a month, we spend about $70 on the toll bridge on average. We don't have any public transit expenses because our work covers our bus passes. For grocery shopping, we enjoy shopping at one of the nicer grocery stores Metropolitan Market. So that drives up our food budget to a minimum of $600 on a good month. This is the month of February before quarantine. These days our grocery spending is quite a bit more. Now let's move on to the credit card statement. On the bottom left is our sum for the groceries for the month of February. And you can see that I splurged a little bit on Roy's chocolates that month. Next, we move on to food and drinks. So this is for eating out. And it includes our dinners, which accounts for about $50 each time. And then it also includes my lunches, but not Mr. Lane's lunch. And he spends an additional $300 a month for his lunch. So that's about $650 for lunch and eating out. Next, when it comes to miscellaneous shopping, including Costco, in a month where we do not have any huge ticket items like all of my standing desk and work from home supply, it comes to about $560. This also includes Amazon purchases and some fun things I found on Etsy. Lastly, it's just an example of how much we spent on gas, which is around $60 a month. And now let's move on to subscriptions. We have free HBO from Mr. Lane's family, and I pay into a Netflix family plan with my phone. We spend $60 a month for our phone plans with T-Mobile. Mr. Lane spends $30 additionally for the gym, and we also have $15 a month for our family Spotify plan, and another $65 for internet. Now onto Sammy's expenses. On a regular month that we don't need her kenneled, it's fairly inexpensive. But kennels cost about $30 a night, and of course there are her annual exams and vaccines, which for this purpose I will not be counting. For dog food, we buy the Kirkland brand chicken and rice formula, and a $30 bag lasts us about two months. I also like to buy dog treats for her, like these dental sticks and sweet potato treats. I do most of her grooming myself, like trimming toenails, bathing, ear cleaning, etc. so we can save some money there. So those are our regular expenses, but aside from those, we also have some random ones, like gardening supplies including seeds and soil or Uber rides to downtown, which adds to $50 a month. All in all, we typically spend about $6,200 per month in our household. Of course, you can definitely live in Seattle for less. This is just how much it costs us to live our current lifestyle. 
Mortgage is our biggest expense here, and while it was cheaper to live in an apartment, we do really value the outdoor space and having a yard. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment below. And until next time, I'm wishing that you guys are staying healthy and safe. Bye!